Welcome back, guys. Get it, the lieutenant did it, the villain, the villain, the killing, crippled did it, pictures are painted as vivid, living, the wizard, the weapons, the secret mission chief. Just had to get that off my chest. Fresh off the press, another poll, another result for Flipper Zero, reigning supreme as usual. I've heard the comments, and yes, I will be conducting probably less polls concerning Flipper Zero, just so we have a plethora of content on the channel, not just Flipper orientation. In other news, today we're going to look at a new challenger in the firmware arena, a creature of mystery, a legend to some, and you're going to know, so buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go! go. So in my previous review of Flipper firmware, we looked at the leading firmware options available to the community via Get, which included Unleashed and Rogue Master. We also looked at Extreme Flipper by Clara Crazy, which delivered a kinkier yet subtle take on things, but is well documented and backed up with functionality and stability. Now within the Hacking Time team, there's been whispers or murmurs of a new player that's developed another firmware that I believe deserves review. Now, I want to introduce a new player to the firmware scene, Squatchware by Talking Sasquatch. Now, if we head over to his GitHub, we can see already there are some popular repositories available to us. So if we first review Sasquatch's animation repo, some of you might or might not be familiar with his work already, but he is hands down on the best guide and mentor I've had for making animations and he helped me greatly on my previous video on making your first flipper animation now if we look at the working directory for the animations folder we have a few folders available to us first we have the battery only top status bar so one can just have the battery and then one can have no power bar at all kind of nice if you want that custom touch on that next we have the finished animations which were last committed last month and we still have more animations that are not finished so they're continually being worked on by himself so if we look into the finished animations you might already know and seen his firmwares without really knowing who he was so let's just scroll down to what's available to us first we have the matrix rain probably the most famous of the animations one of the first i came across and really got me motivated into making a animation on the Flipper Zero. Next, we also have the Naruto Run, another favorite of mine. We have the Blaster. We have Goku on the Nimbus, classic. We also have just a Goku one. A lot of these also featured on Rogue Master. We of course have the custom firmware for Roadmaster Intro itself once that installs. We have the Salad Fingers from back in the day. We have, of course, Stickmen. So, animations are, of course, a very, very strong point here. Clean, concise, and actually work. So if we go back, we can see we have Squatchware custom firmware available to us. And this is a fork from the Flipper Zero firmware directly itself. Now, there's already been commits. And as you can see from the logs, this is getting updated hourly, uh, weekly and daily. So it's an ongoing project and has a huge development drive and resources being pulled in from every angle of the community. So I wanna see really what's on offer here and the great work he's done so far. So as we can see, we have some releases only eight hours ago from recording that one release was made. Now keep in mind, Sasquatch himself previously mentioned in a video that this firmware veers away from any illegal elements that can cause either harm to your flipper or inhibit its functionality. So it's very much geared towards staying on the line of the official firmware but offering all the tweaks and animations and tools that you would expect from a custom firmware. 
and I'm really a fan when it comes to functionality and stability. So let's give this a test drive and see what it looks like on the flipper. So for me, I'm going to install it on the Windows operating system. So we can go into the zip. If you're doing it on the Linux, you can go for the TGZ. So let's download that. Right, now that's downloaded, we can install the Squatchware firmware and see what's going on with it. So if we head over to the file manager and then we go into SD card and then we can go into updates. And then we can take our Squatchware and install that. Yes, we will upload it and let that work. It's magic. Right, now we have that installed. We can head over to the flipper and then we can press down back to access the update directory on the browser. Now we can click through to find our custom Squatchware. Here we have it. Now we have Squatchware. Go to the bottom, go to the update with the up folder icon and then run the app. Let's go. All right, before I get started again, I could just go into sub gigahertz and then assets. And then here we can see the settings and the settings user and the extended ranges. Again, you could just override those with the ones you have available to you, as I'm going to do. As you know, there's certain ranges that I do play around with sometimes, and I want to keep those in check. Now that's done, we can get into what's actually on offer on Squatchware. So we have exactly installed the firmware successfully. So we can hit OK. And now we met with the classic sasquatch animations or exclusive ones of course to this firmware so we have the terminator ones now to flip through the animations we can hold down the center button to see what's on offer nice official squatch wear Nice, I remember seeing this one on one of his shorts when he demoed the Wi-Fi dev board with the Marauder. Sick. I like this one. This, this is a funny animation actually because it's almost an inside joke. So if you remember, I referenced the flipper on the couch and it's actually a failure in terms of an animator's perspective when you're actually trying to animate an animation and it doesn't work so he's kind of put the middle finger up here at flipper and he's changed the perspective so you're looking behind the couch instead of the tv facing the flipper here that's that's kind of joke I, li I like what he's done here all right so those are kind of like the animations i could see at the minute on the manifest and i can see there's a lot of hours being put into making these just from if you watch my other videos how long it takes to make these animations so animations check you know you're going to get some sick ones as and when they come out next let's get into the nitty-gritty sub gigahertz let's see what's on offer if we go to read boom again he's got his own skin over the scanner which is sick uh, if we go to config see if we config a channel on a modulation so it's an fm mod does that reflect and yes it does nice stuff all right, read raw, that's cool. Frequency analyzer, in check, slightly changed a little bit, but in check. Next we have RFID scan. Nice, still there. The Indala key, yep, everything's still in check. Next we have NFCs, nice. Gonna detect the reader, nice, it's kept it all the same. Extra specific card, left the EMV one for those who like to scan credit cards, of course. I suggest you don't do that, by the way. Um, nice, all right, got infrared as usual. Now I've got 
come into infrared actually I've got a whole stack of infrared in my library so we've got cameras cars and multimedia CCTV CD clones definitely check out the boy Uber Z's repo if you want to get some more IR kind of codes for all different types of stuff good stuff infrared still check nice GPIO, Art Bridge. All right, we have to disconnect to actually use that. Manual control. Nice. I button. Still yet to use this. So I'm still yet to find an I button. I do know they use them in uh, the underground in London or in the train station. So interesting. Might be able to use it there. USB. Bad USB. I have to test that out. Obviously, when I disconnect. The two factor, again, probably wouldn't trust it on this, but it's there and available. So let's go to applications, check out the games are intact. We have Blackjack, Game of Life, this is new. What is this one? Not sure what this game's doing, sort of looks like bird swarms in the air. <laughs> Don't know about that one. Uh, heat defense. Oh, it's, it's flipper orientated as well. Jeez. That's a new one. We kept the Tamagotchi. Yes, sir. That's up, G. Got tanks as well. Classic. Jeez. Single co op. <laughs> you get co ops as well, yeah? Nice. Not bad. Not bad. And we have the classic snake, of course. This one's actually operating a bit faster than the one I used before. Very nice. Good job, bro. All right. Kept those intact for those lonely train rides. Next, we have MISC. An authenticator app. So it's still empty. All right. Add a new token. All right. This is kind of like for a 2FA, I don't know if I would trust to use uh, the flipper for this. Only for the simple fact, firmware crashes, it's gone. Next we have barcode generator. Alright, don't see a use case where I would use this so far. Guess I was multiplying some uh, hitmen, as it were. <laughs> Drilling out in the back of the head. Alright. So we got Caesar Cipher. Got a calculator. Never actually use these sections here. Got a counter, a hex viewer. Mouse jiggler. Uh, multi converter as well. Nice. Got paint. USB keyboard and mouse. Was this kind of like a plug and play situation? Oh, that is sick. You see that, guys? I'm moving my cursor with the flipper. I'll show you what this looks like from, from my perspective. Not bad. I'll be interested to see if this would work over Bluetooth. All right, continue. So we have a Wii EC analyzer. Not bad, not bad. Music player, of course. What you got? Final Fantasy victory fan. Damn right, boy. What else have we got? Had to get my ocarina in. And let's see if I can hit Saria's song. Nah, ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, Sam, no. Sam, what the fuck? Oh my god, I ain't seen these ones. It's got wave player. Might have to drop some tunes in that. See how that plays. And a zero tracker. 
Ooh, the 8 bit love. Chill, chill, chill. Turn off, boy. That went a bit crazy on that zero trekker. <laughs> All right, next up we have got some tools available to us. We have got the DTMF Dolphin Dialer. Okay, a red box, meaning what, phone box in the UK? 10p. No way. I remember seeing this sort of hacking. It's an old school film, Hackers. They did something like this at a pay box. All right, we've got our button fuzzer as well. Nice. We have a name changer. You want to change the flipper's name? All right. I'm going to change the name. So we change the flipper's name to, of course, the name it is. And save that bad boy. All right, it's rebooting. Hopefully the name will change at the top. <laughs> there we have it. If you want to change that annoying default name, Sasquatch has offered you that functionality within Squatchware. Nice one, bro. All right. And he offered me a custom animation to go with it. What can I say? There's nothing more to say. He actually smashed it. Well done, man. Now, if I looked under the hood on actually what's happened here. So if you go to SD, remember from the animation video, they're stored within Dolphin. We have now two manifests occurring. Interesting. So we download this. So if we open this manifest, we can see that the custom name that I put in, which was my one, is actually bound to the package and the animations that are to this manifest. So the way this works is that we have the manifest.txt file that is used by default. But when we change the name, the system will continue to use the standard one until we change that name to whatever we change it to and instead use the custom manifest, which is manifest two in this case, and play a different set of animations. The specific animations played will be determined by the settings we have in place. So we could change everything from the passport to the animations themselves through this name changer. Hopefully we get to that stage with, within the firmware. So speaking of passports, we didn't even look at what was done there. Bang, bang. And the mood is squatchy, of course it is. After this, how could you not be? Completely smashed it, knocked out the park with this one on the animation front, on the name changer front, and just keeping everything, and some new things that I actually didn't even see before on this one. That was Squatchware. As we saw, it's a wicked piece of firmware that offers a great alternative to the others that is both slick and safe for work, customized and packed with exclusive animations and a forward thinking community. If you are looking for a firmware that can meet all those requirements, then I suggest this might be the right option for you. I'm personally choosing to stick with it and join the community over on Discord, link in the description below, and contribute new ideas and further enhance this firmware and its community. Remember to leave positive comments below and stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out. Peace out.